Henry the Blasian. Brand new. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB video. So for those of you guys that did not know, 2K said that this year they were only going to release 5 GOAT cards in 2K21 My Team. And today ladies and gentlemen, we got the final one. There was Magic, there was Jordan, there was LeBron, and there was Kobe. Today, we got 99 overall Dark Matter GOAT. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, man, the final GOAT card of 2K21. It was the card that struck fear into people in 2K20, and you guys can see the similarities. The exact same background as last year, just a different player model there on the front. But the question today, guys, is will this card strike the same fear into people in 21 as it did in 20? My early guess is going to be no, mainly because there wasn't invincible cards last year, and this year we got people like Porzingis, Bull Bull, Yao Ming for all I know we're probably gonna get a Manu Bowl in like the next week or two But yeah, some insane cards have come out this year So does Kareem still have that same intimidating factor as 2k20? That's what we're here to find out, man. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We're on that journey to 300,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We actually just hit 270,000, so we're officially 30K away. Thank you for all the love, and let's aim for 3,333 likes on this video for the boy Kareem. But now that all that's out of the way, Kareem plays center and power forward so you can really get glitchy with him for this video We are gonna be keeping him at center a lot of people are gonna run him at the four and Yao Ming at the five I'm not looking to get toxic today, but uh, we flip him over 99 offense and defense seven foot two 225 pounds for those of you on next gen you should be very happy because he's now officially equipped with the curry slide animation man we knew there was going to be a better kareem than the invincible one we already had because that one really wasn't all that on next gen now this card's a completely different beast 99 everything as we all know because he's a go card he's got the 99 3 99 speed defense whatever you want to call it now i'm not going to lie to you guys when it comes to the kareem cards i'm not the biggest fan of his jumper but if you do like his jumper this card is literally going to be unstoppable for you a hundred on the defensive tendencies as well we get into the badges and like every other goat card 75 hall of fame badges every single hall of fame badge in the game now, i'm not gonna lie to you guys i feel like this kareem is a little bit better for people on next gen than current gen it's definitely still gonna be a demigod on current gen but the biggest leap is gonna be next gen from the invincible because now you got one that has hall of fame range and blinders you got one that now has the curry slide as well on top of all the other glitchy animations like there is nothing that this kareem won't be able to do he's basically like a souped up version of a chris Stapp's porzingis the thing is i like porzingis's jumper just a little bit again i am not the greenest when it comes to kareem's jumper so if you see me not greening in today's gameplay it's basically my fault you guys are likely going to be better with that jumper than i am but you guys can see on paper he is looking like the most perfect center or power forward in the game the question is how nice is he we're about to find out without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's hop into a game and let's see what kareem abdul jabbar is really all about Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB gameplay. We got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar up against Porzingis, James Wiseman. He's got magic at point guard. Let's get down to business. Now, I haven't used my Giannis in a while. The reason I had to use him was because way too many people got five out demons out here. We get a crazy layup to go down. All right, let's get down to business. I need a screen here. I need a screen here. Hit that screen. Curry side. See you later. Let's see the jumper. And it's a green. I was honestly scared there. Again, even though I just greened that shot, I don't feel confident with this card. Let me get a nice little pick and fade. Finesse that. Oh, we'll curry slide out of those. He keeps over committing to those screens. And it's working out so well for us. Don't let this man get comfortable in a 5 out. As long as we don't let him get comfortable in a 5 out, we're going to be okay. Come on. Keep moving the ball around. Zion, you coming through? I think so. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's trying to put that pressure on defense. I want to see if I can hit him with that off-ball deodorant. Right around that screen. There we go. Right to Kareem. Catch. Pump fake. I thought he would jump. I'm blown right by. Hey, oh! How did I get takeover from getting blocked? Hello? Good defense there by Giannis. That's how you get a legitimate block. All right, slow down. Slow down. Everyone, spread the floor. Don't come near me. This man is really trying to reach for dear life. Can you relax? 
Yeah, keep sending double teams. That's completely fine. Pump fake. Inside to Kawhi. You're a fun guy. Board man gets paid. Hey, look. I can double team you too. That's got to be a steal. Pause on that though. Good defense right there by Giannis. We keep moving. That was almost a turnover. Nice little behind the back. Go to Kareem. Pump fake. If I get the right screen here, I'm getting a three. Curry side out of that. Throw a dot. Giannis onto the Kumpo for three and knocking it down. Pump fake. Kareem in the corner. I need that. Not a green, but it's not a bucket. That right there is the problem with a jumper. I can never shoot it with confidence. I thought he was going to knock down that full court shot, but we're going into the second quarter, man. Let's see what else this card can do. All right, boys, we're in the second quarter. Kareem, that's all you. Thank you. I saw that with all my eyes, man. Putting what? it down. I don't even know what I'm saying right there. That was just a good steal. Pump fake. I see Kawhi. I think he's wide open. Swing that thing. Giannis gets too much space, and I'm knocking down the three. Yes, sir. Don't throw it that way. I saw that. Oh, my goodness. The rotations of hell. Right to Kareem. In transition. Hey! Defense to offense, baby. That's a rebound. Yes, sir. Giannis has takeover. I'm going to get the bench in here in just a moment. But first things first. Thank you. Too much. Pull in. Bang. Okay, let me relax. We're debuting the wrong Milwaukee Bucks right here. We're supposed to be hooping with Kareem. He's going to throw it back. He's going to throw it back. I see that. Good defense. Kareem, that's all you. We move in transition. Hey, get a little flashy with it, man. Right now, it's all about the defense. And just like that, boys and girls, our opponent has left the match. That's where the defense outweighs the offense. Things you love to see. Let's hop into another game. All right, boys, game number two. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the job's not done. We showed a lot of defense in that first game. Now I'm looking to get busy. Look at that. He's got the dribbles. Curry side. See you later. All the way through. Yes, sir. Ignoring all people in front of him. Don't jump, don't jump. Good defense right there by Zion. Come on. We move. Anthony Davis. Kawhi in the corner. Oh, you know that's automatic. Come on. Kawhi Leonard. I've been saying that for like the last five videos. Don't catch that man in the corner. The crazy thing is, in that last game, I didn't run a five out once. Oh, he's got that new coup coach. Too bad he got just got cooked by that off-ball deodorant. Easy three there for Kareem. Okay, I'm actually knocking it down. The catch and shoot, not too bad. But again, doesn't change the fact that I don't like his jumper very much. Good defense. He tried to do a quick stop. It doesn't work. We running. We some Olympians today. Behind the back of hell. To Giannis. Dimers. Bang! Oh, we are dominating today. Pump fake. Uh, let's go right to Kareem. Get me in the post. It's not a Kareem gameplay unless I try one skyhook, right? So hit this. The sauce greens. I wasn't really greening it in freestyle, so I was a little bit sketchy. Let me slow things down a little bit. He's trying to bait me. Oh, look at that. Crossover. We gone. Woo! Go ahead and put that down, baby. All right, this guy just went on a run. Luckily, we got takeover with um, Kareem here. Hit the screen, thank you. I'm pulling all the way from damn near half. Knocking down that three, let's go. I need to get one more three here before takeover runs out. Oh, he's sending doubles. Pump fake, alley-oop that. Anthony Davis coming through with the cut. Let's go. All right, boys, we're in the second quarter. Open three there for AD, we're knocking that down. He's definitely been blitzing a lot of double teams, but don't worry, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Double team him right now. Pause on that, by the way. Throw it to the corner. Oh, he's not, that's a good drive. I gotta say though, this guy loves that square button. Nice little curry side all the way through. Kareem has just been a driving force at the basket right now. Like I said, that curry side, at least on next gen, it opens up so much space for shot creating and getting to the basket. Good defense. Is he gonna pass it? Nope, he's gonna dunk it. Jab, easy post spin. You guys are playing way too tight on the cap, man. You can keep sending the random double teams because guess what, I'm reading all of them. Kareem, that's all you. Look at that, two Lakers are hooping together right now. Kobe and Reem, and he got sharpshooting takeover again. Let's go right to Kobe. Yeah, he's trying to make sure Kareem doesn't touch the ball right now, which is a smart thing to do. But I hit that screen, pick, and pop again. You gotta stop dropping with your center. I'm gonna keep shooting threes off that. Good defense, man. We're in the second half, and he's been trying to hunt for threes. We're just not letting him, because as long as he gets twos, I can get a two on the other end. No double teams, no sir. Inside the cap, putting it down. Let's go, man. We are holding this 10 point lead. He's in a zone defense. Oh, yeah, that's a GG. Let me just get down the middle. As soon as I get down the middle, throw dots to the three-point line, and Kobe's not going to miss. I literally got my best shooters out there. Kobe, Kevin Durant, D-Rob, and LeBron. Yeah, say goodnight. We made a mistake here, boys. Give me that. That's a steal. Thank you. We made a mistake. We gave up a three, so I got to get a bucket on the other end. Kareem, catch and shoot. I'm trusting it. In the corner, it is so fast. It is so fast, and he's got takeover again. Come on, turn me up. 
No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Get the Kareem. Yes, sir. Get that out of here. Like I said, you're not getting a single three all the way through and putting it down. Come on, baby. All right, boys. We're in the fourth quarter. And at this point, it's all about the slow ball game. Because if we play slow ball, we're going to win. See? As soon as you fall for that screen, I'm going to the basket. Give me that. It's got to be a steal. Good. Oh, my goodness. Kawhi on that inbounds. This man is a menace to society. Slow things down. This game is basically over. He's sending double teams. The fun guy knocking down what might be the dagger. Four minutes to go, man. Give me one screen here. One screen is all it's going to take. Thank you. Catch and shoot. That's the game. I don't know why you're looking at Anthony Davis on that pick and roll. Kareem already got the job done. What's even funnier is Kareem had zero rebounds this game. What the heck? One more for the boys. One more for the boys. They can't guard it. So one more for the boys. All right, so GG's to my opponent. We're going to go ahead and win this game 94 to 74. Kareem and the crew absolutely dominated. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the box score. Let's see how our boy did. Oh my goodness. Talk about efficient shooting for not just Kareem, but the rest of the team. Look at that. Kobe went perfect. AD went perfect. Giannis went perfect. Kareem, though, 39 points, only one rebound. I do wish that was a little bit better for playing 20 minutes, but it is what it is. Four assists, no steals, but he did have one block four turnovers we were dribbling with him like crazy for the most part 17 for 20 from the field and you know what's even crazier he didn't miss a single shot inside the paint man five for eight from three those three missed shots were from the three-point line and that was it him and Kawhi Leonard honestly they were cooking this team no free throws this game had a total of nine dunks and all around man Kareem is an absolute dominant card. Now, is this card going to be an absolute demigod at center? Yes, but I think he's actually going to be even scarier at power forward. And for those of you guys that, again, really know Kareem's jumper, you guys are truly going to be menaces to society because, again, seven foot two, moving the way he does. And the thing about Kareem, he's got such good defensive tendencies. I don't know what it is about him, but he guards people really well in the paint. He also guards the perimeter really well. And now that it's a card with literally 99 everything, there's really nothing that could go wrong the reason this card isn't going for like 900k mt again is because there's so many cards at this point in the year that can do everything kareem is doing while kareem is a very good card he's a goat card every hall of fame badge in the game people like porzingis people like bull bull people like james wiseman even are doing very similar things at center or power forward you think about david robinson he's seven foot one has a very good wingspan though he's only one inch shorter than kareem and he's actually got a better jumper in my opinion so i think when it comes to this card guys it really comes to the jumper preference and even though you might be green with kareem it still doesn't mean that it's the easiest jumper among any center me personally i'll take porzingis i'll take taco fall i'll take yao ming i'll take james wiseman there's a lot of centers in the game at this point in the year purely because of their animations i would have to take over this kareem now that's not to say that this kareem isn't good because look at what we just did man we dominated especially with the speed boost now that he's got that curry slide this card really is dangerous but for me personally he just doesn't quite work for me because i need someone where if i pass him the ball i know they're gonna green it nine out of ten times and kareem while i do love this card he's just not that guy for me but he could be for you so if you guys pick him up you really are gonna like him with that being said though guys this is gonna be the end of the video i don't know if this card's gonna be worth picking up because i really do think we're gonna be getting an invincible manu bowl soon and once we do that's when 2k is absolutely over but for now i'll see you guys later good luck on the giveaway as well details in the comment section if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care